guys ogs from the us welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video i'm going to do my five talking point from the game between chelsea and spurs at the bridge zero zero i'm still disappointed but it's not the end of the world tomorrow is another day and we move so I like to watch the game again, take the sentiment away, all the emotions away, watch the game and give my unbiased opinion. So I did it and I'm gonna provide to you my five talking points. First of all, what I noticed on social media is that uh, Jose Moreno and Spurs players are celebrating. Yeah, they are very happy. To get one point from the bridge Moreno said in his press conference that you know what we're still top of the league we got one point from here and he didn't say clearly that he was happy but he was smiling and everything that he said behind that means he's very happy with one point on social media if you look at regular you look at a uh, hurricane and other players they kind of yes we got one point from Chelsea kind of messages. So you understand levels. If you go to the Chelsea camp, Frank Lampard wasn't even smiling in his press conference and interviews. He was angry, you know, like why we didn't win that game kind of attitude. The players also on social media, they said, you know what? This is not the result we wanted. We wanted to win the game, but tomorrow is another day. That tells you clearly that Moreno knew exactly that he got away with a murder. He knew that he got outclassed one more time by Frank Lampard, and he knew that he's very lucky to get away with a point. So I'm gonna ignore those keyboard warriors, you know, the couch specialist, online coaches, who pretend to know everything from their houses because expert can tell exactly what happened in that game but for certain people it's always no context at all black and white frank lampard doesn't have experience blah 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 you talk we move nothing is going to change people forget that we were playing against Jose Moreno, one of the greatest manager in the history of the game. And we were playing Spurs with all the world-class players that they have. And certain people try to make us believe that we have the divine right to win against Spurs. Who told you so? At the beginning of the game, certain people were calling for us to take a point and leave. But after the game, the same people are flip-flopping as usual, following the popular opinion for the clicks and for the likes, for attention. They don't use common sense at all. It was a perfect game from Frank Lampard and Jose Moreno. They cancelled each other. And this kind of games, you need a little bit of magic at some point to make the difference. We had our chances, Olivier Giroud, Tammy Abraham, Manson Mount, and other players decided not to score. That the one moment you need in a, in a game like that, score a goal, close the shop, game over. We didn't do it. Spurs didn't do it. And you have to appreciate tactics from both managers. The second talking point, we took Ken and Son out of the game completely i even forgot if they were playing yesterday that's how bad it was everybody been talking about how dangerous the pairing is the midfield of angolo kante Manson mount and cover took care of them and also the defense was there to help the attack also was always there helping the defense so we worked very good as a unit we kept them very quiet during the entire game 
And when Engolo Kante got home and he was emptying his pocket, he found his keys, wallet, Ken and son. Talking point number three, another clean sheet, and we have to give some credit to Edouard Mendy and the defense as a whole. But let me talk about the elephant in the room first, Kurt Zuma. What were you doing, brother? That was really stupid from Zuma. The last minute, I think it was 92nd minute, something like that. Stoppage time. And he did a big mistake that was stupidity at the highest level. But you know what? They didn't score from that mistake, and I'm very happy about it. But it could have been worse. So we were lucky to get away with that. But next time, you don't do that. Edouard Mendy was Edouard Mendy doing his thing. Thank you, Peter Cech. What a goalkeeper. There were a shot from Aurier that he didn't even see, but he managed to keep that ball away. And that was like, wow, Edouard Mendy is some player. And can you just imagine if Kepa Arisa Balaga was in goal? Spurs were going to win that game easily because first of all, he was going to encourage everybody at Spurs to shoot on target. They didn't even try to shoot that much because they knew the wall was in that goal. You know what I mean? But hey, I'm so happy that we have finally a goalkeeper. Thiago Silva and the rest of back four, congratulations. Rhys James, what can I say? Immense in the defensive work, immense going forward. Those crosses, man, how Rhys James didn't get assist today it was criminal ben shewa was good i can't say much about ben shewa because he was cautious just like the rest of the team i was afraid at some point when he went down and i think that uh, magic spray kind of helped him finish the game and um, hopefully he's not injured talking point number four we are not clinical i know it's even criminal to say that because of the quality we have in front i've been crying since last season the lack of power in front you know so we have uh, ferraris on top but they are not firing right now i don't understand what's going on it's been for a little while now that we can't kill the games off even when we score four goals we could have scored maybe five six seven or even ten goals because of the amount of clear chances that we have every single game and that is a big worry because in the high level you need just one chance one chance only score that goal game over and let's move on to the next but right now i'm telling you tammy abram is not doing it enough Timo Werner the same, Kai Harvard is from an illness so we can understand that, Christian Pulisic didn't show anything but you can understand from a long term injury and Hakim Ziyech today he wasn't the Hakim Ziyech that we know but he put some crosses in that box and nobody was there to take advantage of that. Rhys James must be very very angry because nobody is finishing his chances don't get me wrong i'm not calling for somebody's head here because that is the trend in the community when you are not happy about something you have to call for somebody's head somebody need to go blah 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 no that is not me i'm just saying that uh, we are not finishing our chances and we need to improve because we have so much quality in front not to score goals i know many people are blaming tammy abram as usual we have to find a scapegoat and right now is tammy abram the problem but let me remind you that every time Giroud plays for 90 minutes 
he's not that good either. And you know I'm French and I support Giroud 150%. But I have to tell the truth. Giroud for 90 minutes, questionable. I remember many times in the past when Olivier Giroud played for 90 minutes and Chelsea fans wanted to kill him saying that he doesn't deserve the shirt and he needs to go because he's slow he's such and such but that's what we do is a chelsea thing we flip flop depending on the result i think Giroud is very good from the bench because everybody is tired and he can just use his power because he's lacking pace Tammy Abraham is overall better than Olivier Giroud, in my opinion. You don't have to agree with me because I will get some comment like, oh, he's a World Cup winner, he's such and such, blah, 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 blah. That is your opinion. I'm going to respect you. But overall, the work that Tammy Abraham does defensively and offensively is immense. You see it or not, it's not going to change anything. But Olivier Giroud, is very good on what he does holding the ball heading back the second ball and all that the last minute everybody else is tired he come up with his power and he can do some damage but starting the game is going to be a different story because you have to change the whole system the whole dynamic of the team to adapt Olivier Giroud I think we've been very unlucky not to score those goals but it's gonna come it's coming and be patient so in my opinion Giroud deserves more than 15 or 20 minutes maybe give him 30 minutes or 45 minutes why not if nothing is working out put Giroud for 45 minutes and let's see what is going to happen but pushing for Olivier Giroud to take Tammy's place just because you don't like Tammy or you don't like Frank Lampard and you want to find a red flag somewhere, it's not helping our team. At the end of the day, Frank Lampard can't win because there will always be people who will find red flags everywhere no matter what he does. Even if we score 10 goals, somebody is going to complain about goals not being beautiful. 